Horns up guys and welcome to a brand new Headbangers Kitchen Keto Vlog. Today we are doing grocery shopping and in fact not just today what I'm going to do is combine a couple of days of grocery shopping so you get a clear idea of how I shop. Also because I don't get everything that I want in the same supermarket I have to go to different stores and buy things especially like red meat like you know pork and beef I don't get what I want at the general supermarket even with the vegetables I do need to go to a vegetable vendor I have a fishmonger who comes home so there are many many different kinds of shopping that I do so I'll do a couple of days club them together in this video and I hope you enjoy it let's go and do the first day. Alright guys, so we're going to break up today's shopping into meat, eggs, dairy, vegetables and other things. So let's start with the meat. I've gotten myself some streaky bacon and some, uh, this is what, smoked bacon cubes. This is just, well it's bacon, it's, it does the job on the fat. Uh, it's got no carbs in it, both of them. Both of them are like 0.1 gram of carbs per 100 grams. So even though it's a cured meat, it's not got too much uh, carbs in it. Now I found a ready-made chicken malai tikka. Now I generally avoid buying these things because I make them at home and I generally make them better if I do say so myself. But uh, I said let me try it because this is some new brand in the market. And this has only uh, 1 gram of carbs per serving. So 100 grams. So I, I, when you ever want to eat more than that in one sitting. So this is okay. I'll give it a go. Then I got myself some boneless goat meat from the shoulder and the leg. No, it's from the leg only. And I love this for making biryani or if I'm having a mutton stew like the coconut stew I made. So this is really good. I love this. Uh, and this is of course perfect for keto. And then of course I got chicken, boneless chicken. This is what we get mixed boneless in India which is one breast piece and about three or four legs and thigh boneless. I got six eggs from my favorite cage free brand so you know uh, that I feel good about eating it and the reason I only bought six is because I already have some at home and I go to the grocery store quite frequently so I don't really buy like a month's worth of stuff it makes no sense to me anyway that's all the meat that I picked up because anyway you saw in my uh, keto vlogs that I had beef uh, tongue and I had spare ribs in my freezer and I had some chicken as well so I didn't need to go overboard and buy stuff. Now the dairy. Cream cheese. New brand I just thought I'd buy it and try it out and see how it you know tastes and how good it is and I'll probably try and make a cheesecake or something. Um, cream okay so this is something that many of you keep asking me about. This is just regular cream maybe you call it creme fraiche uh, it's actually not heavy whipping cream but when i talk about cream in my recipes you can use heavy whipping cream that's absolutely fine now this how i identify this is that it is 25 percent fat now i think heavy whipping cream has 35 percent fat and in india getting that is a bit difficult and if you buy an imported brand a non-local one it's ridiculously expensive and with the amount of cream i use i can't really afford it and i don't want to either all right this is not really dairy but this is coconut milk so must have especially when you're making that mutton stew and other delicious like asian cuisine kind of things all right time for veggies now this supermarket that i went to didn't have the best veggies they i mean they are not stocked up so I just got some green peppers I like chopping these up and putting them in my omelettes or in beef chili or even in with chicken or anything I mean there's so many ways to use it spinach yeah not a lot of spinach but I will buy more um, spinach I do I need to say more it's like I am Popeye the sailor man boop, boop. Then I got some baby pok choy so coconut milk mutton Pork choy, we got something going there. And of course a big bag of lettuce. Need lettuce around all the time, gives you your roughage and a lot of other good nutrients. Does it really? I don't know. Alright, now on to the other things that don't fall into meat, vegetables and dairy. So I bought 
some coconut flour now I don't normally use coconut flour the only reason I bought this is because I want to try a lot of new recipes coconut bread coconut cakes and most of it is for the channel for you guys out there who are going to try and make these dishes and who actually use coconut flour and have you know good things to do with it in fact if you have any suggestions of what I should try making with coconut flour please help me out leave some comments below tell me what I should make and I'll try and do that all right then I got some olives uh, this is mainly because the ones we have at home have run out so olives are awesome I love olives changes the flavor of the dish completely brings it to life then I got me some tomatoes so I can make my keto tomato sauce and just keep it and use it as and when I need um, and of course some seasoning cayenne pepper which also ran out I've got most of my other stuff at home so I don't regularly pick it up from the grocery store and finally this is not really on my keto thing but I bought it for the house because my parents eat mayo and uh, they find it too painful to make it fresh every time so I can eat this like if I just want a tablespoon of mayo it makes no sense to sit and whip up a whole batch and you know things like that now this has apparently 0 grams of carbs and 0 grams of sugar per 15 grams which would mean that it's less than a gram of carbs even if you are eating it because it definitely has sugar in the ingredients so yes it's not ideal for keto because of the sugar and the fact that it's vegetable oil so I doubt I will really eat much of this I may have a spoon of the entire thing at some point in the entire month so it won't affect me too much but if you eat mayo regularly and it's easy for you it's a better idea to make it at home and you can just put garlic in the start and you'll have your own garlic flavored mayo so anyway that's all the groceries I've picked up today I will be back with another grocery haul soon and then we will see what I basically purchase so hope you enjoy and I'll be back What's up guys and I'm back with another grocery haul or meat haul rather because today I went to the butcher now in our supermarket you get some meats but you don't get the good stuff so today I went to the butcher and picked up some pork some beef some chicken some salami anyway let me show you what I've got so I picked up a chicken a full chicken with skin and this is mainly because in our supermarkets you get all skinless chicken there's only one brand that has a whole chicken available with skin so I wanted to get a good nice chicken this is about a kilo and a half and I can make some amazing stuff with this so chicken then I got some salami pork salami this is the good stuff not with uh, preservatives and all that kind of stuff it's more freshly made but I don't actually eat much salami that's for my parents some pork mince is what I've got half a kilo here and this is basically going to be used to make those bacon bomb balls or to make a full size bacon bomb then I got me some royal ham this is the good stuff really good ham I love it got me some beef mince and I'm either going to make burgers with this or perhaps a chili con carne so this is a staple around my house beef mince good speaking of beef and when I say beef I do mean water buffalo tenderloin I got a whole tenderloin this is almost two kilos and I love tenderloin it is so tender and it's not as expensive uh, in India as it is elsewhere because in India you get beef meat which is all parts of the cow you get beef mince and you get tenderloin and tenderloin is good so I probably cook up some steaks with that or maybe some diced steak who knows the possibilities are endless and finally the crown jewel or the jewel in the crown this is some pork leg oh yeah fresh pork leg meat now I normally would buy a pork shoulder because it's got more fat but I thought I'd do something different today and get a pork leg and see how that uh, turns out you know I could make it with a delicious creamy sauce so I get my fat from the sauce then and enjoy the delicious leg meat so anyway that's all I picked up from the butcher I'll probably do another grocery haul when I go to the vegetable vendor and I'll probably have that in the same video so you'll watch it in a few seconds till the next seconds or till the next few seconds cheers
Hey guys, I made a quick trip to the grocery shop today and I thought I'd show you what I picked up. Alright, so I got some eggs, some cheese, and I got some baby spinach, some green peppers, some more cheese. This is mozzarella which I used to make the uh, flathead, uh, fathead sorry, bread, some fresh oregano, and avocado just because it's a special occasion because these are so expensive in India it's not even funny some sour cream and some mushrooms oh and I also got a little something over here this was sent to me as a sample and this is pretty decent peanut butter so if you're feeling lazy to make it at home this has no sugar no nothing it's just peanut butter and flaxseed so yeah that's my grocery haul Hey guys, so it's the final grocery haul and it's all veggies today. So I found a cool portal where I can order my vegetables right at my doorstep. So I decided to use that. It's pretty much the same stuff I would have got had I gone to the vegetable vendor or if I'd gone to the supermarket. So let me show you what I got. Got me like a whole kilo of broccoli. Finally I got this cheap, it's quite overpriced in my supermarket. So I got a whole kilo of broccoli and this is like the good stuff. So broccoli soup, stir fried broccoli, all of it is good. Now for my chili corn carne, I went and bought a New Zealand avocado which was really expensive. But on this website I got a whole kilo of avocados for pretty much half that price. Yep. Now I think these are raw but uh, this is going to be great because I have not had avocados like in the two years of being on keto because it's expensive and I finally got these I'm assuming these are the Indian ones but if they're ripe and they taste even half as good as the other one I'm sorted because this is a good source of potassium I believe if I'm not mistaken and of course avocados are good fat so you want to have avocados in your diet if you can then I got me some mushrooms some portobello and some white mushrooms just regular stuff I love mushrooms I can't live without mushrooms and uh, they might be a bit carby but not so much so I can have them in, in my diet, it's not a problem. And vegetables are good for you. And finally, more mushrooms. I managed to find oyster mushrooms which I have never seen before in my supermarket or at my vegetable vendor. And these were again dirt cheap. So I picked these up, two boxes of them, yummy yummy. Now the only thing I am really missing in this shopping list is cauliflower, uh, some cabbage maybe. Uh, zucchini and uh, yeah I think that's about it oh yes eggplant so these four items I'll probably pick up later in the week but you already know what they are and that would complete my vegetable haul actually so I hope you enjoyed watching these grocery haul videos I hope they provided you with enough information and insight into shopping for the keto diet and just let me know if you have any questions I'll be more than happy to answer them so till the next video cheers and keep shopping mm -hmm.